I'm Christina Lopez Aducci, and welcome back to At Home with House of Puff. We're back in the pool house, you guys. Today, we're talking terpenes. That's the stuff that gives each cannabis strain its distinct smell and taste. Why should you care? Because research increasingly suggests that terpenes play a significant role in how cannabis affects you. Most of us consume cannabis for different reasons at different times. Sometimes we want pain relief or to de-stress. In the evening, we either want to gear up for a fun night out or get better sleep. And sometimes we just want to kick back and laugh. Knowing your terpenes will help choose the best cannabis strains for your mood. Terpenes aren't just in cannabis, they're in all plants, but we know that they can affect the brain. Just look at your household products. They include scents like citrus and lavender. The bright scent of lemon invigorates most of us, while lavender tends to be calming. Research suggests that terpenes combine with cannabinoids like CBD and THC to make some strains more energizing and some more relaxing. Here's the most common cannabis terpenes and their potential effects. Myrcene, my fave, got not gonna lie, is a terpene we most associate with mangoes. Myrcene may have calming properties, so it could help you with relaxation and sleep. If you wanna see how myrcene affects you, try strains like Layer Cake, Northern Lights, and Grape Ape, Cherry Punch maybe. Then there's limonene. Limonene is one of the most common terpenes in cannabis. You'll know it by its citrusy aroma. Limonene rich strains are some of the most popular and some of my faves, like Strawberry Cheesecake, Marshmallow OG, Gelato Dream, and Wedding Cake. Because limonene is such an uplifting scent, some cannabis consumers rely on limonene rich strains to relieve anxiety. Studies have shown that the inhalation of limonene reduces anxiety symptoms in mice by increasing serotonin and dopamine levels. Yeah. So if you want to try a limonene rich strain for anxiety, you might want to inhale it using a pipe or a joint. Up next, linalool. If you love lavender and lilac as much as I do, you already know this sweet floral scent. Linalool isn't usually the dominant terpene in cannabis, but it is widely recognized as a soothing scent, maybe the soothing scent. That's why it might calm you. Some research even suggests that it might make your immune system more resistant to the destructive effects of tension in general. Little Lowell rich strains include Durban, Wedding Mints, and Dark Matter. That brings us to Pinene. As you might guess, Pinene is the terpene commonly found in pine trees. It's also abundant in cannabis. Pinene is earthy, rich, Aside from cannabis, it's in tea tree oil, ginger, sage, and eucalyptus. Research suggests that pinene might have anti-inflammatory properties, one of the main reasons why many of us consume cannabis. I have to admit, you guys, I kind of stay away from strains with pinene. That's because I find that they can make me anxious. But if you're looking for a strain to help with inflammation, you might want to try pinene rich strains like Diamond OG, Sorbetto, White Wedding, and LA Confidential. Only two more guys, so let's keep going. If your flower smells spicy or peppery, that means it's probably got some caryophyllene. It's one of the most common terpenes, and it's also on plants like cloves, oregano, and rosemary. I would hold up a rosemary, but I'm sorry, nothing on set. But what makes caryophyllene unique is that it's the only known terpene found in cannabis that can bind to your CB2 receptors just like cannabinoid can. CB2 receptors are most commonly on the cells in your immune system. So researchers think it could potentially ease symptoms related to said immune system. If you want to give caryophyllene a try, look for strains like cookies and cream, sour diesel, biscotti, and strawberry shortcake. All right, our final terpene is woodsy and earthy, and yes, we are talking about humulene. Basil, black pepper, and ginseng thank this terpene for their gorgeous scent. With its hoppy and herbaceous notes, it's in a lot of craft beers, actually. Along with its lovely scent, humulene might have therapeutic benefits, like being an antibacterial agent. But of course, we need more definitive research to fully understand its potential health benefits and wellness benefits. In the meantime, if you give it a try, 
check out strains like Girl Scout Cookies, White Widow, and Sherbert. For more information about what to buy, check out our video on how to choose the right cannabis strains for you. We'll link it below. And as always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate everything you guys send us, and we'll share it with you all, and we'll see you next time on At Home with House of Puff.